Howdy there, I'm Nathaniel Klansman. Are you new to the H3 podcast and still trying to wrap your head around all the different members of the crew? Or maybe you're a longtime fan trying to introduce the show to someone special, but struggling to explain who's who and what they do. Well, I tell you what, I've got you covered. In this short video, I'll introduce you to all the members of the H3 crew and give you a better understanding of their roles in the show. First, let me tell you about Dan, the producer of this here podcast. And he's been around for quite some time. In fact, he's the longest active member of the crew. And boy, does he know a thing or two about the production of the show. That's why he sits in the scorpion chair, you know. This chair has started to affect my life. I'm mm. not gonna lie. Now, Dan's got a pretty important role around here. Dan! 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 He makes sure that Ethan stays on the rails especially during them ad reads to keep them sponsors happy and to avoid any cancellations, which hasn't worked every time, but he tries his hardest. You know what's not going to be aborted? Your HelloFresh membership. Okay, so... <laughs> Zach, kill the music. Take off the graphic off the screen real quick, Ian. They also call him Dan the Wizard because he can fix just about anything, especially when it comes to the tech side of things. He keeps this show running like a well-oiled machine, you know? He can troubleshoot anything, even when the show is live and is able to set up any kind of crazy idea Ethan might have. And let me tell you, when it comes to the show, Dan's also the voice of reason. He knows a thing or two about all sorts of topics that Ethan might not be familiar with, so he's always there to help him out and set him straight when he needs it. Do you think she's actually think? evil, though, Dan? Like, what's your take on when? the queen? I mean... Probably not as an individual, but the institution is disgusting. I mean, she was born into unimaginable privilege, and she walks around covered in stolen blood diamonds from all of the col former colonies of the UK. Oh, and you know, at the start of every episode, when you hear the number two in the first second when it goes live... Two. That's all Dan, baby. Every fan of the podcast gets an instant boost of serotonin when they hear that... But wait, there's more. Dan's also the most involved crew member with the Thursday show, Leftovers. Heck, some folks around here even say he's the third co-host alongside Ethan and Hassan because he's so darn interested and knowledgeable about leftist politics. He did the old, I married, I married step my daughter. stepdaughter. I, yes. guess, I think he might be a, like a criminal. I don't know about that, but he did marry his much younger stepdaughter, I believe. Ain't that something? He's also been vegetarian most of his life. Loves boba and kettle chips, which he often snack on during the show. Three, and they're gone to fantasy suites like you know. Mm -hmm. uh, now let me tell you about Ian, y'all. He started off as an intern and worked his way up to being a salaried employee, bless his heart. Ian's got a special job. He's the switcher. That means he's in charge of showing all them different cameras and screens during the show so they don't have to go back and edit it later. And then when I want to speak, I press a button and... He's always using fancy special effects, filters, and visuals to keep things exciting. <laughs> you see, Ian can't be involved in the different segments too much because he's got to be listening and switching them cameras to keep the show dynamic. He's so good at his job that sometimes we forget how important he is. I, I'm kind of tuned out a lot in terms of like what's actually happening because I'm listening for people to be like, and right. then I'm like, oh, that's AB. Ian's also a real music nerd, and they always ask him about his thoughts on anything music related. She said something about Kanye? I don't know. Ian, thoughts? Ian? <laughs> yeah, did you see that, Ian? <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're... And when it comes to segments outside the studio, Ian's the man on the streets interviewing folks and covering events like a pro. Not, putting on the makeup, I inhaled a lot of fumes. A little dizzy. <laughs> He's also a writer for a lot of sketches and segments they do on the show as he has a short-lived but existing background as a stand-up comedian. Ain't that something? I, I had to leave. I had no joke. Oh, you didn't even go on stage? No, oh. because they, it melted. The, and, Oh my god. There were no yeah. legible words so, anymore. Did you so. just bounce before they even called you on? Yeah, I ran out. <laughs> and that was the last time? Yeah, yeah, that's when I retired. And last but not least, Ian's has a British heritage and is often asked about UK related things. So there you have it, Ian. The switcher, rider, 
sometimes comedian of the podcast. I like the other beans more, the one we had the other day. Uh, me too. You have an Englishman saying the Heinz on white bread was, was superior. I, wow. I don't know. That can of Heinz, I asked my grandma, I asked my dad. They're like, yeah, yeah, that's the can. So, hey, I don't know. Now let me tell you about Zach. He's the sound lad of the podcast. He not only ensures that the sound levels are just right during the live stream, he's also quick as a whip at playing them sound bites to add another layer of humor during the show. Today I feel uh, gay. <laughs> wow. Zach is a talented musician who's responsible for creating the musical intros for the Off the Rails episodes and parodic songs for other segments. Ian collaborates with him by handling the visuals. Oh. No, that doesn't work either. Doesn't work either. Today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey. Brand drama dude 22 <laughs> boy but uh, 23 grandmother gay. gay. Although he's a bit joker-brained, Ethan considers him the golden boy of the crew because he's always ready to go above and beyond for the show, even if it means bathing in mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Zach is Jimmy Lee's full-time correspondent, whether he likes it or not, and he also reaches out to various guests to book interviews for the show. I won't get into too much detail, but he must have texted me at least 30 times. Now let's talk about A.B., who's also known as the simp number one or the clout goblin. He's in charge of a lot of things, from the content to the studio. He's on research duty and has to prepare the document before each live show with all the different topics and context for Ethan to refer to. Since he has been making YouTube videos by himself, even before he was working for the podcast, he's often in charge of filming segments, despite his shaky hands and editing the behind-the-scenes he does for the members only, which, just like the series Content Court, was his original idea. We are about to go live in about 15 minutes. We're just waiting for Ethan and Ela to arrive. Him, but also various crew members, are in charge of setting up the sets for the different shows depending on the day of the week and organizing the studio accordingly. Because different shows take place on different spaces of the studio. Ah, you're fucking stepping on me, you giant. Yeah, let's close that curtain, bro. I don't want to see. We're ahead enough. Let's talk about Olivia. Am I right, Olive? She started off as an intern and quickly worked her way up the ranks to become a full time member of the crew. One of her key strengths is her vast knowledge of past and current events in pop culture. She's often tasked with gathering research for the show's topics and even reaches out to guests to invite them on the show. Being one of the younger members of the crew, she brings a unique Zoomer perspective to the show that Ethan may not always have. In addition to her research duties, Olivia is also the queen of the sleigh department. An angled brush and black eyeshadow, and then yeah. line your top lashes. If you think you can use this, the thinnest line possible, on top of your top eye. She's a self-taught makeup expert and her skills come in handy for many of the show's segments. Recently, she's proven herself to be an expert in celebrity drama and Ian even passed the torch to her as the new PowerPoint presenter, a role that he once held. Okay, a traveling couple in September. <laughs> Justin took Selena to St. Martin and then to Paris after their break and posted this photo of- Olivia's addition to the crew has brought a fresh and relevant perspective to the show. She provides a new female voice and represents a younger generation, keeping things lively and current. Love can be observed on a TV screen with wheels as he currently resides in Sweden. He plays a crucial role in managing the show's social media accounts, including TikTok and Twitter. He also creates engaging short-form content by cutting up clips from the podcast, which resonates well with the show's younger audience. Zoomer TikTok attention span, our analysis and evolution. Here we go, Subway Surfer. Love's been in the attention span lab, testing video engagement both with and with outside content to accompany podcast clips. His expertise extends beyond social media, as he is skilled in several fields, including SEO and web design. This is to help people <laughs> like you, <Hassan. laughs> This is a public service. And he also brings a unique European perspective and a bit of folklore to the mix. Nothing more American than that, goddammit. Oh, hell yeah. This shit is busting, dude. Hell yeah. 
Additionally, love is a real juicer when it comes to Twitch culture. Despite the physical distance, Love's contributions are widely recognized, and his talents make him an indispensable member of the team. Now let's go on to Sam. Wait, who is Sam? Sam not only works for the podcast, but also for Teddy Fresh, so she's not there during every episode. She's Ian's girlfriend and the prop master of this all operation. She will create anything that could be needed for segments and skits. She's very crafty and has a background as a graphic designer. She's also behind the current visual identity of the podcast and started working for the podcast during Frenemies. Since then, she's been bringing new ideas and elevating the show with her handy skills. Not only that, but she's also the chef for all the food segments. Cranberry sauce with pickle juice, strawberry glaze, peanut butter, she has a knack for making cursed associations of food, as well as crafting interesting cakes. She's also known for being in charge of ordering food and drinks while the podcast is live and asking for everyone's order. <laughs> just avatar things. Yeah. Cam is more than just the soothing voice of the crew. He's a former Adult Swim employee and a master of memes. During the show, he creates them in real time, impressing guests who are not used to seeing such talent. Cam is also the creative genius behind the show's thumbnails, backgrounds, and animated titles and cards that appear on screen. Updated the background. Thank you to Cameron. We now have the train. Whenever there is a need for his artistic talent, Cam's Photoshop magic comes into play, and he's always ready with a stockpile of memes in the Discord. Cam is a meme machine. For those of you who don't know, Cam was sending uh, memes even before he worked for the show. Yep. He's a skilled video editor and can handle complex edits and special effects when the need arises. Eat and drink there, they serve you. Yeah. But then they've got this crazy tech where they can track the ball. <laughs> it is, it's great. It's really cool. Lena is a valuable member of the podcast crew, despite not always being present due to her work with Teddy Fresh. She actively contributes to behind-the-scenes work and participates in crew segments when she can. In addition to her contributions to the podcast, Lena takes on the important responsibility of scheduling appointments for Ethan and Gila, making phone calls, and driving to various locations. Lena's my assistant, or me and Gila's assistant, she is amazing. She would pick up anything. She, would, she gets everything done. She's also AB's significant other, and their journey to joining the crew began when they both moved from Michigan after Ethan offered them jobs. Her dedication to the podcast and the team is evident in her hard work and willingness to take on various tasks. It's not that bad. Oh my God, <laughs> stop. You're going to make us all look like such babies. <laughs> In conclusion, I hope this video has helped introduce you to the H3 crew and given you a better understanding of their roles and contributions to the podcast. Whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer, my goal was to make a short explanation of what everyone does without going too much into the memes surrounding them, which we can talk about in a later video. All right, thank you so much for watching. You may have heard that YouTube is refusing to monetize my channel, despite my videos being completely transformative. Therefore, the only way I can continue making these videos, which take hours to produce, is with the support of patrons. So, a big thank you to my Uncle Gabe's, and of course my skinny legends Corey Rupert, Messy Mermaid, and Alicia Ann, who made this video possible. Thanks to them, I'm finally able to afford what my editing software costs each month. If you also want to support the next videos, you can find my Patreon in the description. Okay, bye y'all.